Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? This is Richie Thomas, the Soldier's Coach, coming to you with your final marching orders today. So check it, everyone's favorite college coach. No, not Saban, the other one. No, not him either. Yeah, yeah, that guy. That guy, Urban Meyer, yeah, him. Yeah. Um, so we all know he's won championships in Florida. That gator stomp is so, so annoying. <laughs> and of course, he, he created that dynasty up there that is the Ohio State. But of course, you've all heard my sports fans, my football fans out there. He's made that transition to the NFL as a head coach. And your boy is 0-4. Goose egg. Zero wins. Zero. Zero. Zero, as in not one. He hasn't won one game in the NFL, which is crazy. A guy of his, his caliber, his strategy, um, his, his track record, he is a phenomenal phenomenal football coach. He did something to whisper into the ears of these young men and get them to give 110% on the field. He is absolutely amazing coach. I would never ever second guess him because his man, a, a master or guru and expert has proof and he is clearly one at multiple schools. So you got to tip your hat to Urban Meyer as a college football all-time great. However, again, it has not exactly transitioned over perfectly to the NFL as again he has been 0 for 4 with the Jacksonville Jaguars and of course he's had some on field off field troubles here I'm not going to get into that I'm not going to just throw nobody under the bus but it's going to keep it on field but it's just amazing to me to see somebody that successful at one level now transitions to the NFL and it's really fallen on his face but he'll get it together I know he's a championship coach championship caliber um, but I know it is a completely different game um, at the professional level but I just think there's something to be said there um, I'm always fascinated how you can be phenomenal at one aspect but in the other ie a Tim Tebow or of course Nick Saban gave you all the two fingers and with what two three weeks left in the season in Miami and left when he tried it in the pro professional level as well but I just think there's a big, big lesson there. So of course I'm thinking, talking and thinking of all of my folks getting ready to transition out of the military. But specifically today, I wanna to talk to the 241 generals. That's right, the 241 generals in the military. I know you got the stars on your chest and you can't help but have a little bit of a swagger with that. But, but what is the game plan for you men and women as you transition out of the military? Because the crazy part in the civilian world, no one cares about your rank. <laughs> it's first name basis. Mark Zuckerberg runs a multi, multi billion dollar company and they just refer to him as Zuck. Mark, there's no captain, senior, admiral, four star. There is no rank in the civilian world. So it's awesome to me to watch the different, uh, the mental transition you have to make from having being the man or the woman in the room top dog to now you have no rank and everybody's an equal playing field so how will you mentally handle um that aspect because letting go of that ego is tough i don't care what branch in the military you are right everybody you, know, you wear it on your chest on your shoulders for so long it stands for something but you know they will humble you in the civilian ranks it's wild so what can we learn from my boy urban meyer how is he gonna pivot how is he gonna strategize uh, to turn it around in jacksonville i'm rooting for him because i've been a fan i'm always a fan of winners so i'm a support uh, regardless so all right so this is richie thomas the soldiers coach and i would tell you peace out but the reality is most of y'all need peace in thank you